hi in this tutorial I am going to give an explanation on flex ray so in this I just uh, ended with the flex ray introduction if you guys interested yes I can keep on continue to post more tutorials on flex ray so before that if you are interested in joining our uh, course you can have an enrollment and the course starts at um, 3rd August that is we have around uh, one and a half month duration the course uh, the plan uh, at 50 rupees per month so here I have given the um, yes I have given the details about the tutorial and if you are interested you can uh, ping to this number or you can enroll by paying 50 rupees to any of these payment mode yeah without wasting time we'll go to the tutorial see uh, this is um, see you can consider this a car in this car we have a, a number of uh, ECUs so say for example from the left I am coming it's a um, power trains engine transmission and more again the yellow color is mobile phone video systems radio infotainment then blue color that is gateway 3 door locks climate control seat sunroof then the last one is steer by wire brake by wire then ECA so these are all the mode of communication where the all ECUs used to communicate through the protocol so here uh, as uh, in our previous tutorial I have mentioned like the um, flex ray uses the high you know high critical and safety uh, measure protocol there is a safety measures ECU so for that sake uh, here we can consider engine transmission or brake by wire steel by wire. these all the ECUs uh, in the gateway 2 as well as gateway 4 is a highly you know critical and safety kind of ECU so these uh, two gateways can be taken care by flex ray so this is a simple understanding and um, and the blue color is a can uh, most is there is a media or the, the stuff related to media is yellow color that is you can use the most protocol mm, even lin also can be useful for that then okay so now as we are into the flex ray so for flex ray the the uh, you know the or the ECUs which is uh, required to be communicated is engine or transmission okay see this is a simple diagram to understand how the flex ray is uh, so here the flex ray A and flex ray channel A flex ray channel B have been given into uh, between two ECUs so now if you if you have read if you look at this picture you will not understand so we'll get back to this before that we'll first uh, look on to how the flex ray have been introduced so flex ray has been introduced by the automotive communication protocol developed by flex ray consortium so the flex ray consortium was made up by the core members of freescale semiconductors robert bosch and xp semiconductors bmw volkswagen daimler and general motor so these are all the members have been the core members uh, who made the flex ray uh, consortium as a member and they have introduced the protocol called flex ray why flex ray yes so we have been so far we have ethernet we have lin we have most we have uh, can we have n number of protocols so but why the flex ray is what is the significance of flex ray see it is more faster and reliable than can as we all know the most of the easy communication have been uh, you know uh, it's uh, depends on the can communication that is uh, we have nowadays we are implementing the can to minimize the harness so but it is more reliable and faster than can communication yeah how far it supports high data rates up to 10 mbps per second features of flex ray so it is a redundant communication channel it has then it is a synchronized time basis it guaranteed message latency it's a collision free bus access it's a payload frame up to 254 bytes and the flex ray guarantees fixed communication latencies and uh, synchronous time is also based on all ECUs then finally flex rate cluster consists of several nodes so we have a number of nodes as we know uh, for the top in cars we may have around 90 to 120 ECUs like we have several ECUs there is several nodes in that the critical node we can consider some 10 critical nodes for that the two communication channel A and B that is a flex ray channel have been used
so this is the features of uh, flex ray so now if you see this uh, picture you can easily recognize that we have a number of nodes the nodes have been connected by the two flex ray channels channel a and channel b so this is how the overall or the overview architecture of the flex ray uh, we can go in depth like uh, how the, what are the properties and how it works everything we can see if you are interested um so need to learn more about flexray yes just leave a comment subscribe and hit a bell icon for more updates so and second for a reminder if you are interested in this course you can join anytime so you can just ping for more details to the whatsapp number given bye bye catch you in next video